This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research to talk about Thailand Equity FVMR Snapshot, or what I like to call Thailand in your hand every week. Remember that FVMR stands for Fundamentals Valuation Momentum and Risk and is the way that I look at markets and stock selection. So let's start with fundamentals and look at where Thailand is. First, Thailand's ROE is slightly above the world's. We can see that healthcare, infotech, and telecom are all delivering high ROEs. And on a dividend payout ratio, we can see Thailand is slightly higher than the world's average and that the telecom sector, of course, massively profitable, pays out the most. If we continue on and look at valuation for Thailand right now, Thailand is trading below the world on a PEN price to book basis, but just by a little bit. Materials and financials are cheapest on PE, while industrials are more expensive, much more. Energy is still pressured and trades at 1.1 times price to book, and healthcare is trading at expensive seven times price to book. The uh, telecom sector and consumer discretionary are also pretty expensive, but healthcare remains the most expensive right now. If we look at momentum, well, Earnings momentum, EPS in Thailand is expected to grow fast in the world, but around the same level in 2017. So right now it's about 8% our analyst forecast for Thailand for 2016. If we look at some of the sectors here, we can see very high expectation in consumer staples and also in utilities. We can see a big turnaround that's coming, and that really is that the telecoms uh, sector is expected to recover from the spending related to the 4G auctions. Now, if we look at price momentum, we can see that we had in Thailand, there was strong one-year performance in consumer discretionary and industrials and Infotech in the past uh, three months. Uh, We can see a lot of strength there. But what we can see is that Thailand over the last year has been slightly better on momentum than the rest of the world. And finally, if we look at risk, well, gearing in Thailand is higher than the world average. And what we can also see is that there's some sectors that are really highly geared, consumer staples and also uh, telecoms right now, and also low geared sectors like uh, infotech, right? And finally, if we look at volatility, what we can see is that volatility is slightly below the world average. Of course, Thailand is a country average at 10.7, world average is all countries, so therefore you would expect that it would be lower, but... Uh, or sorry, you would expect to be lower in the world. So what we can see is that the volatility in Thailand is pretty low over the last three months. And the lowest volatility is coming from healthcare. uh, And the highest volatility we can see is in the Infotech sector. So if you would like to always be up to date, to know all the numbers, to be professional, and most importantly, all you have to do is do nothing. All you do is just sign up below and Every week, you'll get the Thailand Equity FEMR snapshot to your inbox for free every Monday.